Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So, excuse my voice if it sounds a little bit raspy or weird. I've got a slight cough and no, it's not COVID. But anyway, for today's video, I'm gonna be filming a university q and A. I I did one of these last channel I had, which I'll pop somewhere up on the screen, but I absolutely hated the video. I don't understand why I got so many views. I thought I'd refilm one since I've been at Sussex for four years now, so I feel like I've got a better outlook on the university and I'm able to answer questions better since, you know, can't seem to leave the university. I've got some questions on my phone based on last year's video as well as some of the questions I've seen on other people's videos and I'll flash them up on the screen as I'm talking about them. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Rishika. I, oh, do I say I used to be a third year? I am a third year. So basically I'm in that weird awkward stage where I finished my exams and I'm just waiting to get my results back but yes I'm in my third year. After the video if any of you guys have more questions please leave them in the comments down below and I'll get back to you. But for now I'll just be answering the ones on my phone. So the first question I'm going to be answering is how was your time at university? So as I've mentioned before I've spent four years at university now. One of them was a repeat year because I decided to repeat my third year since I wasn't very happy with it. All in all, I would say that I've had a great time at Sussex, which is not something I thought I would be saying after my first year here. I would like to mention that everyone's experiences are gonna be different, so don't panic if I mention something and you think you're gonna experience the same things because that's not gonna be true. So in my first year at university, I didn't have the best year at all. You could say it was probably my worst year at uni. Mainly because I found it so hard to adapt to the uni lifestyle and get used to the type of maths and work that was required. I also found socialising quite difficult. I couldn't seem to find many people that I clicked with. But to put it briefly, there was nothing wrong with the university itself or freshers, like nothing bad actually happened. But it was just more like my own experience with people, my course. Luckily I had really good housemates, so if you're watching this, hi! All in all, my first year at uni wasn't the greatest and looking back, I'm very happy I stuck through it because I would say one of the best years of my life was right around the corner. It did get quite bad that I was actually thinking of transferring uni, which obviously didn't go ahead. I've spent four years here. But honest to say, I'm so glad that it worked out that way because I've met so many great people. I've had so many great experiences that I will never forget. I kind of don't count first year as uni. It sounds really weird because obviously it is, but I would say that my second, third and fourth year has been so much more enjoyable than my first. This is a little message to kind of say that if you don't have the best first year, don't give all hope because it may not stay that way. And I really hope that you guys don't really have a crap first year anyway, but you know. But to answer the question, I had a great time and I definitely will miss it but I am ready to move on. Right. The next question is, how did you make friends at university? Now this will vary for a lot of you. So I made friends from different kind of areas of my university life. I had course mates, I had housemates, and then I had friends that were outside or inside both of those. Course mates was pretty easy. I think on like the first day I met a group of girls and then we got on, we made a group chat and then that was the end of it really. <laughs> I get that people don't necessarily experience making friends that quickly, but um, my experience was that it did happen that way. In terms of housemates, I was very lucky because the people that I moved in with, I got along with really well. They are still my friends today. In fact, I'm still actually living with one of them. And friends outside, I kind of met through societies and different kind of clubs and random things that I would join. The main one that I went to was volleyball. Uh, volleyball was a prominent one and new people would come in every session so I would be meeting new people. I'd say my advice to you if you are at university and you're trying to make friends is to just be yourself and to be open to things. That's as much as you can do. Give it time. Um, just because you don't make friends in the first year or the first semester doesn't mean you never will. I used to think that if I wasn't going to make friends in the first year or first semester of uni then I never was going to because everyone had their own friends. But that is so far from the truth. The most that you can do is to be open and to be yourself and obviously don't force yourself to go out on nights out if you don't want to or don't force yourself to go to plans if you really feel uncomfortable to. I think all my friends can agree that I probably tried to say no for the first plan they tried to make with me because I was that shy. But yeah, that's how I made my friends at uni. The next question is, how did you find maths at Sussex? So personally for me, I chose to come to Sussex because I was trying to avoid doing mechanics or any sort of applied maths that was too difficult. And again, this is a very weird 
thing and maybe some of my course mates won't agree with this but I personally found first year to be the harder maths but hear me out it's not the actual maths that makes it hard it's more like the step up from like sixth form or like college to uni I found that to be the most difficult because it felt like a complete different type of maths and you had to actually write words and you know it wasn't okay to just write the answer but once i got the hang of it it did get a lot easier and it was more enjoyable i would actually say that i enjoyed the second half of the degree a lot more than the first half i am glad that i came to sussex to do maths as opposed to any other uni i looked at because it sounded like it was for me and I'm just glad that that was true. Right, the next question is what do I need to pack for university? It bring the essentials. Yes, you can watch as many what to pack for university videos as you want, but at the end of the day, you know what you'll want to bring. You know better than anyone else what you use, what you need during the day. So don't overthink what to bring. I would say just bring the essentials, so kitchen stuff, your plates, your pans, your pot. In terms of decorating your room, I really liked bringing fairy lights into my room I still have them I'm actually in the process of taking them down so I can move out I also liked sticking up loads of photos of my family my friends all up on my wall but again if any of you have any questions about that please leave it in the comments and I'll try to get back to you and the last question I'll be answering is if you had to give advice what would it be if I had to give any of you guys any advice to do with the university I would say to remember why you started your degree if you are struggling at uni I get not everyone has the heartfelt story of wanting to be a university student since they were four. You don't need that at all. But if you are at uni or thinking of applying to uni, you are thinking this for a reason and I'm assuming it's because you want a degree in something. So kind of just keep that in your head if you are struggling with work. Make sure you reach out when you need help. If you need help, make sure to also ask your course mates. I'm sure they're probably struggling with similar things. In terms of socialising, again, be open to things. Don't do anything that you don't want to do. Don't let anyone force you to do things that you're uncomfortable with. And remember that university isn't just about your degree. As weird as that sounds, university is an experience. But yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe down below for more. Make sure to give this video a massive thumbs up if you did enjoy. And I'll see you guys very, very soon for a brand new video. Mwah. Bye!